everybody, we're going to talk about crisis slash solution tactics. Now, what is that? So say your government wants to introduce a piece of controversial legislation that normally everybody would be against and wouldn't want to have the government implement that piece of legislation. So in order for this new law or piece of legislation to, to go through and be accepted, they will create a crisis or they'll take advantage of a crisis that's ongoing to do just that, implement the new legislation. So if we if here in Britain, if we look at a current crisis, so if we look at the illegal immigration, the boat people coming across the channel every day, so what piece of, what piece of legislation could be pushed through to tackle that? So maybe digital IDs. Everybody has to have an ID in the country to prove that they're not an illegal immigrant. So you create a crisis. The government wants to implement digital IDs, but it's a controversial subject and wouldn't be accepted without a crisis to push this through. So what they do, they do nothing about the boat people coming across the channel and then they don't have to implement this piece of legislation. The people will start to ask for it or they'll suggest it and then people will say, yes, that's a good idea. Implement that. And that's how they get controversial legislation through. You could also say this new um, climate crisis. They want everybody to have smart meters. So the, the only way that you can get a good deal on your tariff is to have a smart meter. Now, normally, people wouldn't accept that because there'd be lots of choice across the board because there's no crisis. So you implement an energy crisis and you put a caveat that, yeah, you can have a fixed tariff, but you must have a smart meter installed into your property in order to get that new tariff. And I've seen this happen. I've, I've seen people talking about this on Twitter where energy companies are demanding that people have smart meters installed in order to get this new tariff. So that's basically um, crisis solution tactics. And we can look back for the past two years at where this has been implemented as well. So you want to get some new legislation through and you you need a crisis to get this new legislation through. You need digital ID. So, or, you know, some sort of ID for people to be carrying so you can monitor where they are at all times. So one of these instances was we'll, you know, we'll create a pandemic and as a, a, as a solution to that pandemic, as one of our solutions, we'll demand that when people have been vaccinated, that they have to have ID to prove they've been vaccinated in order to get into certain venues and events. That's the, that's the piece of legislation that they want people to actually have. And then once the crisis is over, you just evolve that piece of legislation into something else like digital ID and you keep it. You keep it in place. So the crisis has given you that. A new one where we have the police and crimes bill. So say you want to curtail um, the right to protest, but you wouldn't be able to get away with it without a crisis in order to clamp down on protests. So what do you do? You create a crisis, let's say Extinction Rebellion, gluing themselves to the Houses of Parliament, the Speaker's Chair in the Houses of Parliament, and now you have a good excuse to crack down even harder on protests with legislation to legislate against peaceful protests or protests in general. That's crisis slash solution tactics. So don't always believe what you see in the news media. Sometimes it may just be the government trying to push through controversial legislation or new laws to further restrict your freedoms. Keep an open mind, keep your eyes open and watch the government. They are not your friends.